Welcome to Inside the Lines with yes. Kit Villa. Kit, what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about last week? Sure. Had a big win over Boise 1-0, I think. Big what? win. Clara yep. scored the goal. Was that her Correct. first goal? No, it was not. Tenth? But she did very well. Not her 10th either. <laughs> Maybe next year. Um, great goal. We had other opportunities. I thought we played well with good attitude, with good composure. Um, we held on to the win, which was the third win in a row. Third mm -hmm. one nothing win in a row. Um, I thought we did some really, really good things and then some things that we, we know we still have to grow yeah. with. Um, Boise turned around and beat San Diego State, which shows that they're a quality team, a quality yeah. opponent, which again shows the parity in our conference also. It's very, very tight all the way around. It's like two points, you know, yeah. from first to last. That was San like, Diego State's first that loss. That was their first right? loss, okay. yep. And it was at San Diego State, so it wasn't oh. on the road, you know, because we're partners with them. Um, I just thought we did a, a great job on Friday. I thought we played well on Sunday at times. Um, I thought we started the game strong and with attitude, and then um, sort of a questionable goal did go in, didn't go in, they called it, yeah. so it was a goal. Gave up a second goal soon thereafter. I think we were still a little uh, a little off from the first goal. Um, wasn't a, It was a great shot, strike, but it, not great defending mm -hmm. all the way around. Yeah. And then we came back again, and we actually out, out shot them nine to five. You know, shot totals are not, you know, are not the end all be all, but I thought we did some really good things. After the second goal was scored, we had some opportunities. Second half, we created a, a, a lot of opportunities. We just, you know, again, another goal that was in, wasn't in. That, that one they didn't call in. Unfortunate for us, because that could have changed our, our um, momentum. Mm -hmm. But we still, we never, you know, up until the last minute, we never gave up. Showed great character, great poise, composure, attitude. Um, I, I thought we did some really good things. It was just unfortunate we made two, two mistakes early and then we had to try to come back from them. So for a young team that, you know, maybe had a questionable call mm -hmm. and then there was like some pretty physical play, yeah. do you feel like they respond the right way? Do they re they I thought they responded great. Yeah. You know, I, I really do. I mean, it was, it was unfortunate at times, but I think they, they did respond well and they did come together and do the right things as a team. Um, they just kept working harder. Got some young kids on the field. Ruth Rusiaga played some more on Sunday and did a very good job. Sunday, Friday, she was still trying to come back from her little injury and was okay. Sunday, she was very, very good. Very mm -hmm. good. Almost created three or four scoring opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, so there were there were a lot of positives. A lot of positives that we can take away from going mm -hmm. into this next weekend. Yeah. So every game is a big game, and, and Friday night against Colorado State, they've come a long way since their first year of, of you know collegiate Division One action. Um, they're That's a good Friday, team. Right? That's Friday night at 7 p.m. here at UNM, and then Sunday against Wyoming, who are having a good year. So uh, every game, every game is very competitive. Every game means something to every team in the right. conference. Wyoming well, seven and one tied with San Diego State. Or is mm -hmm. I, I mean San Diego State was expected to have a pretty good year. Is mm -hmm. Wyoming a surprise at all? or? Yeah, a little bit. They're scoring a, a bunch of goals. Um, uh, we knew they were good last year. They're a good team. They've been a good team for a handful of years. So, um, you know, if you get on a roll and you get some confidence, that's that's the key, especially in conference. You know, mm -hmm. you just you, you score a few, you, the ball bounces your way, then you make it bounce your way. That's also experience. They've got a handful of older players. So, um, again, Colorado State on Friday night at 7 is a big game for us. Does Wyoming have an indoor facility in Laramie? They do have an indoor facility. I've never actually been on it. Do they play indoor? Um, they try not to. I think mostly in the spring. But they have, haven't they? I don't know in I the fall. I, I'm I not sure. I thought I saw once they had a big snow up there. Yeah. Could've. I might be wrong. And then uh, Sunday? Sunday is senior day. It is senior day. How for many our, seniors you got? We have one lone <laughs> senior this year, Alexis Leba, who's going to get all the attention, right? Uh, yeah, it won't be a 20 minute deal. It'll be, you know, a good five minute, six minute yeah. on her. No, she's had a great career here. She had two years where she was a tremendous role player coming off the bench. Um, she, you know, played in the UCLA game that we lost one nothing in our first round of NC2As and did well. So she's been, she's had a nice career. She's been a steady, consistent player for us the last two years and um, has done a great job. So we'll send her off in fashion on Sunday. Yeah, I did a feature on her early in tribute. Did you, very pleasant girl, very intelligent. Nice kid, very intelligent, um, does well in school. She does intimidated very well me, in school. I felt kind of, <laughs> she's very smart. felt dumber than I usually yeah. <laughs> She's very smart, she does well in school. Um, she cares about it. She cares about a lot of things. So um, hopefully we can send her off in fashion this, this weekend with two home wins. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to talk about? No. Friday night, 7 p.m., 1 o'clock on Sunday. 
I, did, I actually did have a question. We were talking uh -oh. last week about your. Uh -oh. Uh, uh oh, I got a question <laughs> about your recruiting philosophy. How do you look at recruiting Texas? I know that's a big area for both men's basketball and men's football. How is it as a as a women's softball recruiting area? There's so many soccer. schools. Oh, soccer, sorry, so many schools there, but lots of people. Yes, um, the top top kids go to all the Texas or Oklahoma schools for soccer. We like the Texas market. We just don't know it as well as we know Southern California. Mm -hmm. And Southern California has had more success with their club teams um, in more numbers over the last 10 years. And so we've sort of stuck to the California market. We've had great Texans come in. We have Annie Wheeler on the team right now who's injured, unfortunately, who had a great year for us last year as a sophomore. Um, we've had some really, really good Texas players come in over the years. We just, uh, with our recruiting budget, is right. it is, more feasible financially for us to stay on the West Coast because we yeah. have our contacts there and we have the ability to go there multiple times instead of, you know, once every so often. But Texas right. is a great market. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the Texas teams, they're, they're good, but they, they still, they pull from all over. They don't just take Texans mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a good market. Okay. I was curious about that. Yeah, well, now I know. I, there you go. I always learn something when I talk to you. <laughs> that's why I love doing your show. I hope that's a good thing. I learned nothing from fish pine. Oh. Don't tell them that. Okay. This week, Saturday, uh, Friday, Friday 7, 7 p.m. Colorado State. Sunday, Sunday 1 p.m. Wyoming. Wyoming. Senior day. Final, on, final home weekend. Yes. Senior day on Sunday. Correct. Okay. That's it for this week. Inside the Lines with Kit Villa. We will be Thank back. You. Thank you, Richard. We'll Thank be back. Thank you.